So, you've got your eyes set on the Undercover Umbrella. Maybe you've seen a Kingsman movie, or maybe you just like how the weapon looks. Either way, I'm Chara, a competitive player and content creator who specializes in blasters and umbrellas, and I'm here to give you some basic tips to learn the weapon. While Undercover may seem pretty weak on paper, it's actually a pretty solid weapon with a good handful of strengths. So I can help you fully utilize the weapon, and you can check out my channel if you want to see more content on the Undercover. So a quick basic overview. While other umbrellas have to deal with timing in terms of having their shield up, Undercover is the big exception since you can have your shield up all the time whenever you're shooting. It's very reliable at protecting yourself. However, Undercover does have two major downsides, which you have to get used to, which is that it has very weak damage and very weak shield health. Brellas shoot multiple pellets that will do better damage the closer you hit to the center, with Undercover being a three-hit kill at fastest, though sometimes it could require four or even five shots. The shield also has a very low amount of health. While some weapons like shooters or even splatlings can be tanked for a little bit, other options like sloshers and blasters can not only break it easily, but hit over the shield. And there are also long distance threats like charger that can kill it in one shot. However, don't let this weak shield fool you. Even being able to tank a little bit of damage is really useful. And this weapon is great at specific 1v1s or as a distraction for your teammates to capitalize on. Though do keep in mind, multiple people will shred your shield really fast so you don't want to fight too many people at once. One important thing to know about any Brella shield is as soon as you drop it, its HP will immediately start regenerating as long as it isn't broken. So a good way to make your shield last longer is to tank a bit of damage, drop your shield, and swim around a little bit to dodge attacks, regenerate the shield HP, and then shoot again, pulling up the shield with its regenerated health allowing you to stall much longer. If your shield does get broken, most often you'll want to swim away and wait for it to come back before you go fight people again. You can use this downtime to paint around the map to get some paint control and charge your special weapon. Undercover is pretty well-rounded. Its ink efficiency is really solid, so you can shoot a while before running out of ink, and its paint output is very good. The weapon can also fully take advantage of jumping because you don't have a lot of shot spread, and you have a shield to cover a predictable descent. This means Undercover can be both played more supportively, painting the map and helping your team in fights, and aggressively by picking good 1v1s and distracting for your teammates. As you learn the weapon, you can switch between these two playstyles more frequently, but when starting off, you may favor one over the other, so make sure you take time to figure out how you want to play the weapon. A lot of improving about the weapon is learning what fights you should and shouldn't take, and knowing where you should be positioned on the map. It's a big team player, so the better you can get at coordinating with other people, the more effective you'll be. Undercover Brella can be a great entry weapon into the Brella class, and is personally one of my favorite weapons. I hope these tips help you out for picking up the weapon, and you can be sure to check out my channel if you want to see more stuff with the Brellas.